What does this up and down ride mean for you? Moses Altec is a faculty member at the UW School of Business and the owner of Moses Altec Consulting. Welcome back. We've seen well, you around this week. I know, you sure have. <laughs> it's good to be back. They're calling this a correction. What does that mean? Well, they're calling it a correction. It, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's an indication that perhaps uh, now you've seen a substantial enough decline in the stock market um, to have sort of readjusted, I guess, from its previous high, sort of in the 26,000 territory, um, you know, a little closer to 24,000. But, for, and, and by the way, people are wondering, has it bottomed out yet? And maybe it has, maybe it will next week, but um, I, I, I encourage people not to be overly concerned about it, actually. Everyone, or does it depend on where you are in your stage of life? Like, for example, if you're getting ready to retire and you, you've got a lot of invested in stocks, should well, you be nervous? Well, you know, people who are really, really close to retirement and think they might need the money by the end of the year should not be overexposed to stocks uh, anyway. And people who were in the stock market hoping to, um, I don't know, buy a new boat this summer should not be overexposed to stocks, uh, you know, regardless. But consider the fact that in spite of this, you know, second largest point drop or whatnot, we dropped all the way down to where the stock market used to be in mid-November. That's true. It's, yeah, that's true. It, you know, yeah. it's, it's important it's to, put, to, to, to put it into perspective. So things are not as dramatic as, as, as they seem, uh, and people should take a deep breath. People who are rushing to sell are probably making a mistake because the stock market is going to go back up, and it's going to have a very good 2018. You just wait and see. So <laughs> You why, heard it here first. Why such wild swings up and down? Well, th there really is a disconnect between Wall Street and Main Street. You know, the same, it's two the same right? The same indicators mean different things to different people. So, uh, Wall Street hears that wages are going up, um, and uh, that they, you know they're thinking, uh oh, inflation. You know, infl that's going to cause inflation. Uh, interest rates are going to go up. Um, let's sell. To you and me, wages going up is not such a bad thing, yeah, right? Thing. I mean, we have a little extra money to spend. So th there really is that disconnect. But I think even for Wall Street, I mean, look at where interest rates have been, for crying out loud. They've been in a hole in the ground all this time. So going up a little bit is not going to make sort of a, a much of a difference, even for businesses. And it's important to remember that. Is the Dow a fair indicator? It's only 30 companies. That, that's, that's right, and people are, you know, it, it, is an it is one indicator. It is an indicator, but it's one indicator of many indicators. S&P 500 um, is 500 companies. Right, right, and the, but the, the very fact that uh, unemployment is at a record low and, uh, you know, wages are going up, the economy is robust. If people are thinking there's going to be a recession in a couple of months, uh, they have another thing coming because there's not going to be. Oh, that's interesting. So your message is very reassuring, that this, you just sort of let the, the wave roll. That's right. Everybody should calm down. <laughs> the stock market does this. And in fact, given the really sharp sort of increase that, that we've had, um, even these drops haven't set us back that substantially, if you look at it in perspective. So maybe a thousand point drop when it was at 12,000 is a different story than when it's at 26,000. So. Um, you know, take a deep breath and 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 uh, don't don't stay up at night over this. Don't lose any sleep. Should you and don't look at your 401k. Should you check it every day? It, you know, that's 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 another thing. The stock market, you know, where it is today versus tomorrow is not much of an indicator. Actually, where it is this week versus next week is not much of an indicator. The stock market is for people who have a long-term perspective, and it's important to keep that in mind. So, all right. You're dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> Until but next week. My job here is done. <laughs> Don't go far. That's but, right. But you heard it here. You're saying the market will be up for the year. Uh, I think the market's going to be up for the year. It's going to be a good year because all the economic indicators um, really are, you know, are positive. So bar barring something really dramatic like a trade war, an actual war, or a really sharp increase in inflation, um, which I don't foresee, we're going to have a good year in the stock market. Okay, take a deep breath, everybody. That's right. Exhale. Moses, have a great Thank weekend. Thank you, Moses. Thank have you. a great weekend. And you too.